In this video, we'll be looking into derivation and we'll learn about the LMD and RMD. So, firstly, understanding the definition. So, derivation is basically applying a sequence of production rules to get the LMD or RMD. So, derivation can be termed as the process of obtaining strings of uh, comprising of terminals or non-terminals from the start symbol. So, that's what derivation is. So, it is further classified into LMD or RMD. LMD refers to leftmost derivation and RMD refers to rightmost derivation. So, now understanding one by one, let's take LMD. So, LMD is the process of obtaining strings of terminal of obtaining strings of terminal or non-terminal from the start symbol yes from the start symbol by replacing the leftmost the leftmost variable in each step So, we are replacing the leftmost variable in each step. That is that is how the LMD, uh, that is the definition of LMD. In case of RMD, it is the process of obtaining strings of terminals or non-terminals from the start symbol by replacing the rightmost variable in each step a variable can also be termed as the non terminal so here variable can also be called as non terminal that is v and t is referred as the terminals so here one thing to remember is that variables are always in upper case and terminals are always in lower case. So these are the definitions of uh, LMD and RMD. Now let's consider a production. S derives S star S S plus S S enclosed in parenthesis and E. Okay, so let's consider this as the first production, this as the second production, this as the third production, and E as the fourth production. So here, along with this we have A derives ID. So these two set of grammar is given to us. So ID being the fifth production. And we need to obtain the final w that's the sentence that is id plus id star id this needs to be obtained so let's see so let's deal with lmd first so we'll take so it has to start from the start uh, so it has to initiate from the start symbol right so s derives lmd1 so we have to obtain id plus id star id using all these five productions which we have so from the start state okay let's start from s star s okay so s star s was uh, taken from which step from which production from production one right so here we have to specify it okay from production one so now lmd so the leftmost so the leftmost variable uh, would be like replaced in each step right so s would be replaced now so if you see we need uh, s plus, here id is there uh, you, okay s is there then star is there and in the place of s we can replace id plus id but id plus id can't be directly obtained because it has to derive from a itself in order to derive from A itself, we have to consider first the step, uh, first the start symbol S. 
from this s so our next step would be replace s by s plus s star s this is from p2 now again the leftmost so s derives a right so let's write a plus s star s this was from p4 s now now that we have uh, obtained a let's change a a derives id so let's write id here id plus s star s from p5 now we have id plus id plus yes let's look into the third uh, variable that is s here so s needs to be changed to a so let's write id plus a star s so this is from p4 and now we have id plus a could be replaced to id from the p5 production then we have id plus id star this id is there so in place of s we need to get id so s derives a a derives id again so s derives a that is from p4 and a derives id that is from production 5 so here we have obtained the uh, final w value right so this is lmd1 there is a possibility that you need not start with s star s if you start with s plus s you can also get the you'll also get the same output but then uh, there's a variation so this variation uh, could be represented using the parse tree or the derivation tree or the syntax tree uh, we will we'll look into it uh, we'll look into it later now let's write lmd uh, like another possible lmd that is lmd2 so let's start from s plus s now s plus s so this was taken from production 2 so lmd right so left leftmost uh, variable needs to be changed so in place of s let's put a a plus s from p4 now again leftmost a you can replace it by id plus s from p5 now that we have obtained id plus id plus yes this s needs to be uh, written as id star id so s can be written as s star s right so id plus s star s from p1 now this s needs to be changed id plus a star s from p4 followed by that we have id plus again a a can be written as id from p5 now again id plus id is obtained we need star is also there now this s needs to be changed to a so let's write a this is from p4 and finally id plus id star id this is from p5 so we have looked into the lmd part now let's look into the rmd so let's write rmd here i have written the uh, productions again and the a uh, final output which we require so rmd let's start from s derives s plus s so here rmd so this was taken from p2 so rmd says that uh, we have to replace the rightmost variable in each step so we have to start from the right side okay s so this s needs to be replaced now so the output we require is s plus uh, id plus uh, id star id so in place of id we can uh, in place of s we can write id plus is there and in place of s we have id star id so we can easily replace that by p1 right so s plus s can be replaced as s star s from p1 followed by that we have again s s plus s star s could be replaced to a from p4 then again we have s plus s star a can be replaced to id so we have finally obtained the id here 
on the right right most side next we have star star is there then followed by that we have id here here we have s so it could be it could be written as s plus a star id this was taken from p4 right next we have a needs to be replaced s plus id star id okay this is from p5 now we have s here so this s needs to be replaced from a a plus id star id that is from p4 again we we need to replace this a that is s plus uh, sorry id plus id star id so from production 5 we have finally obtained the solution so uh, it is possible that you may have only one uh, rmd or you may have several R rmds so it depends either there could be one or two uh, there could be either one rmd or lmd or multiple rmd or lmds so our next topic is uh, the parse tree So, uh, parse tree is the picto pictorial representation of the derivation or uh, graphical representation of derivation. So, whatever you have uh, shown here, all these steps are pictorially represented in a graph. So, that's how you get a parse tree. So, uh, let me write parse tree for this particular derivation, the rightmost derivation. So here there are several uh, conditions that the root node should always be the start node, yes, and the parent node or the internal nodes should comprise of non-terminal nodes and the leaf nodes or the lower nodes or the leaf nodes should uh, have terminals, terminals in the sense lowercase uh, symbols, right, yes. So let's write a uh, parse tree for this particular production. So here we need to start from s right s so s s plus s so s plus s as s is the start symbol then we wrote s plus s separately then this s was further divided uh, further uh, explored right replaced right this s was written as s star s so let's write s star s here now next this a this s was written as a right in the next step so this s is written as a and the next step was this a was written as id so this a is written as id and our next step was this s was replaced by a and further this s was this a was replaced by id then coming to this side this s was replaced by a and id so this is how you pictorically represent a uh, derivation so that is what a uh, parse tree derivation tree or syntax tree refers to now kind of a tree is like you take a parse tree and um, label it like from left to right you start joining the terminals that's how you get the final output so well, let me show you here so if you start joining so if you start joining the terminals you have id plus id star id so the yield is yield of a tree is w is equal to id plus id star id so this is called as yield of a tree so it is obtained by uh, concatenation of the leaf nodes or the leaf nodes right you are concatenating all the leaf nodes from left to right so remember it has to be from left to right and concatenating all leaf nodes and parse tree is you need to start from uh, you it, it should start from the start symbol and accordingly whichever um, whichever value or the symbol you are replacing it needs to be represented yeah so 
I hope these concepts are clear. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments. And subscribe to my channel. Oh, thank you.